I hope you're having a great day. Today, I want to talk about a trace mineral. We're all aware of macros. When we talk about macros, we talk about carbohydrates, we talk about proteins, and we talk about fats. When we talk about micronutrients, we talk about trace minerals. So one trace mineral that we have to be aware of, okay, a lot of us consume it in small amounts, but if we have a deficiency, it can affect us in many ways. I'm talking about selenium. We would have heard about selenium. Now, trace minerals usually, like the word says, we need them in trace amounts in the human body, small amounts. But if we have deficiencies, deficiencies of selenium are linked to cardiovascular problems. They're linked to basically progressive cancers. They are linked to inflammatory conditions. And that's why when we have the right amount of selenium in the body, it works as an antioxidant to reduce inflammation in the human body. So especially people who have cancers, people who are going through chemotherapies and radiations, they must have foods which are rich in selenium because there's a lot of cell damage and cell membrane damage, damage to the cells caused by the chemotherapy, caused by the radiation, and of course, caused by the cancer as well. And that's why nutrition plays such an important role in every single disease. While it can manage the side effects of certain heavy medications that you must be on because of your disease, a lot of medications that you take also deplete you of micronutrients. And now, while the primary medicine is trying to treat your symptom, the side effects are also depleting micronutrients, which now create new problems. So we need to understand that selenium works as a very powerful antioxidant, and it works very well with vitamin E or vitamin E-rich foods to help work as a powerful antioxidant to reduce inflammation and to prevent further damage to your cells and even repair cells. There's so much of scientific evidence showing that in cirrhotic liver patients, when they are put on foods rich in selenium, it can actually help you to reverse, not reverse cirrhosis, but reverse some of the damage done to the cells in the liver. It plays a huge role in women who are going through hot flushes during menopause. When you're going through hair hot flushes through menopause, it's also because, it's, one is the hormonal imbalance, the fall in your hormones, but it is also because of a deficiency in selenium. So especially when women eat foods which are rich in selenium, they can actually reduce the amount of hot flushes and the discomfort caused during menopause. Today, everyone's looking for cosmetics and collagen supplements when it comes to the elasticity of your skin. But you should know that selenium plays a huge role in the elasticity and the tightness of your skin. So if you're looking at tightening up your skin, you're looking at elasticity of skin and that youthful look, you must be eating foods which are rich in selenium. While collagen is great, it's not everything. You see, there's, no, there's just not one product that's gonna change your entire health or your skin. It's little micronutrients that work with macronutrients, which is why we say eat a balanced diet. Eat a diet rich in colors, like a rainbow, because then you're getting a little bit of trace minerals from different foods into your system. So it plays a huge role in cardiovascular health as well because anything that causes damage to cells, like in your blood vessels, endothelial linings in your arteries, when there are blockages, when there's plaque, when there is a cardiac arrest happening, requires a repair of your cells. And for that, you need selenium. So now where do you find selenium? In common foods, you find it in oats, you find it in bran, you find it in brown rice, you find it in oranges, but one of the simplest sources, Brazil nuts. They're available in India, they're called Brazil nuts. And Brazil nuts are rich in selenium, which also plays a huge role in the reversal of your thyroid problem. Now alone, it's not gonna reverse your thyroid. Most people who have reversed their thyroid also first know whether they have a Hashimoto's thyroid, which is an autoimmune attack on their thyroid gland, or they have an undernourished thyroid, thyroid problem. So first you need to distinguish which one you have, and you know which one you have when you do an ATG and a TPO test. And if your antibodies come high and your anti-TPO comes high, you know it's a Hashimoto's thyroid, which is an autoimmune response. If the, the levels are fine, it is a normal undernourished, underactive thyroid gland. And for both cases, you need selenium. You need selenium for the repair of the thyroid gland, along with medium chain triglyceride, uh, tri uh, uh, medium, gland, uh, medium chain triglycerides, which are found in oils like coconut oil or MCTs, good quality oils combined with the right amount of uh, calcium, the right amount of vitamin D3, all of these things go into repairing a thyroid gland. It's not just selenium. And of course, your lifestyle, there's your stress, your sleep, your exercise. If your people with thyroid problems should never be doing intensive workouts. Intensive workouts lead to more adrenal fatigue, which can make your thyroid problem worse. So there are many things, but coming back to selenium, oats, bran, 
brown rice, oranges, garlic, and Brazil nuts. You know, one Brazil nut is usually enough for most people. And you can get this easily available, you know, wherever you are. So make sure that you have selenium in because most of us don't eat balanced diets and that's why we have deficiencies in micronutrients that cause further problems with our overall health. So yes, it plays a role with your skin, with your hair, with inflammation, everything. So when you look at the beauty of nature, it's given us so many different foods, but today we try to do extreme diets that cut out food groups, cut out certain fruits, cut out vegetables and all of that stuff. And while we may just lose weight and feel happy, we're actually a very, very malnourished population today. Malnourishment is not just in under poverty. Today it is in urban cities because people are going on to extreme fat diets that tell them not to eat most of the things that are good for you, given to you by nature. So selenium, some, it's a micronutrient that you require. Brazil nuts is your best bet. Do not overdo it because too much of selenium can cause selenium toxicity in the human body. So now don't just think I'm gonna have five or six or seven Brazil nuts, you don't need that much. Usually one Brazil nut, they're usually quite large, is enough for most people. So make sure that you always have a balanced diet and along with your balanced diet, you have adequate exercise that suits you, you have quality deep sleep at night and you're looking after your emotional health. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, breathe deep, and remember, you care is all about you.